hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel thank you for clicking to watch this video i really do appreciate all of you if you're new here my name is love a nigerian italian youtuber based in italy with a family bringing you contents of our lifestyle to your entertainment and to all my oldies i really do love and i appreciate all of you god bless you all guys today i'm going to make him broccoli for food as the african beef that i am we can't do it with our swallow so please my obono soup is already there in the freezer i'll be bringing it out um you know to the first but in the meantime i want to make this broccoli food. this is a vegetable if you don't know i'm gonna be turning it to fufu and the reason why i decided to you know go back into my vegetable fufu is because guys i'm trying to lose weight okay so that the other day has already brought me a new skipping roll that I can use to monitor um, how I'm doing with my skipping roll. So I don't have any excuse whatsoever right now not to go back into keeping fit. So and that's why I'm going back to vegetable fufu. But before I do that, I need to first of all rush back to my kids' school to pick them up because uh, they just called me from there and told me come and carry your children. They are offense only because they have cold. <laughs> But yeah, unfortunately, that's the situation right here in Italy right now. If your child, as much as have a little cough or a uh, cold, or as much as cough, <coughs> just smoke, they will tell you come and carry your child. And there's also a case uh, of COVID that happened in school. They discovered uh, one child tested positive to COVID, and the parents of the child alerted the school that oh, our child tested positive. So because of that, they are very very watchful. Once any child, you know has called the, the parents will be contacted and will be told to come pick up your child so unfortunately me has been having um you know running nose for the past two days and <laughs> ricardo as well <laughs> so but um me as only is the one that is actually serious they don't have cough they have just running nose but you know they all go together they're one family cough running nose and everything they run in one family so guys um, let's rush down there right now and pick them up and then we'll come back and make our fufu thank you so much guys and do not go anywhere and stay tuned Mwah. You want to go and sleep? You're tired. Yeah. Have you eaten? Yeah. What did you eat? Mia, what did you eat? Pasta. Pasta? Okay. Okay, let's go home so we go and sleep. Yeah? Mia, remove your hand from there before you spoil something. Let's go. God, Ricky, your shoe is so dirty. You didn't even spend half day in school. And your shoe is this dirty. Eh? Mia, even yours. What is wrong with you people safe, eh? You're, you're not the ones cleaning it. Is that why you're dirtying your shoe like this? When, when we get home, you'll clean your shoe. Okay? You'll clean your shoe by yourself. I, I told you, don't dirty your clothes. Don't dirty your shoes. Look, look at. Not even half day you spent in school. And look at the way your shoe is. Eh? Oh, Marcia. Mia, fammi vedere il tuo vestito. È bello. Di grazia, zia Nibo. Sei zia Nibo. Nibo. Vai, let's go. Please, please. Take open the door, can you? Hey, you cannot. Let me open before you spoil my key. Look at the shoe, so dirty. Later you have to clean your shoe, eh? Yeah, it's good girl. Your dress looks so good on you, eh? Bella, di grazia zia Nibo. So guys, I'm back from picking up the kids from school. You won't believe the situation of things right now. I was told that these kids can come back to school in the next few days that they have to stop running those before they can be allowed to come back to school now we don't know how long it might take if it will take two days three days one week we don't know and not just that if they are coming back to school there should be a doctor certificate that shows that they've been to the doctor and the doctor have tested them and checked them and they don't have covid they are clean they are you know able to come back to school without any problem so that is 
casino to get doctors now online especially this period of covid is a whole lot is a whole lot and it's a lot of casino for me now to like how to manage these kids at home having them like you don't know how much i'm always happy when they go to school in the morning because i'll have time to do my thing and come without shouting and everything having them at home 24 7 ha ah, god is a whole lot of stress it's a whole lot of stress but what to do situations like this you fat you start wishing i wish i have my mom here i wish i have somebody here to help me but you can't help it this is Obodo Yibo, um, casino is like saying um, it's going to cause mess, a whole lot of mess for me. Like I, I'm going to like, you know, get disorganized. But that aside, but uh, I don't know. I'm not so happy about this, but what to do? I'll take my kids and, you know, start treating them um, with aerosol. Aerosol is actually a product that you have to put into a particular machine, you know, that is actually made for aerosol. And then it brings out vapor of this aerosol, of this product. And your kids will have to put on the max and then they will have to inhale it. It actually helps to like melt all the cat tires or the mokers they have in their nurseries down and help them come out, you know. That is the only way we treat our cold here. That is the only way we treat cough and treat, you know, where your kids, you know, are suffering from this blocked nose and everything. You know, either they cough it out or they sneeze it out or they blow their nose or they pull it out anyone, but it helps to melt out the whole thing. So that's the treatment that will be given to them these days in the next few days to help, you know, uh, fasting the whole thing and to send them back to school. But that's the situation. Once your child have cold, don't even bother. Once your child have runny nose and coughing, <coughs> don't bother taking your child away because in the next two, three hours, they will call you back to come and pick up your child. So, and before they can be allowed to come back, you give them a doctor's report, a doctor's certificate that said this child should, you know, this child can come back to school. So guys, so let's go back into making my broccoli for food. Your girl is hungry. Don't go anywhere. Okay guys, here we go. Let me first of all wash the broccoli before putting them in the pot to cook them. Guys, it is important that you wash your vegetables before cooking them, okay, for safety reasons. And let me also not forget to say this, your broccoli needs just a little water, do not put so much water, okay? A little water is fine. And then you start cooking guys usually i cook it for like 13 to 15 minutes but make sure to always control your broccoli to know when it is tender enough for it to blend so i will start putting my broccoli into my blender to start blending them and let me also forget to tell you guys that what i use to bind my vegetable to fufu is xylem herbs guys this one is organic this is a fiber that helps to like bind your vegetables together to give it that consistency of semo you know for it to like be able to, you know, for you to be able to mold it you know in your hand so, so while i was blending i noticed this wasn't actually coming together because my blender is so wide so what i had to do was to get a little of the water that i used in boiling the and the broccoli and added a little bit of it and then I brought in my xylem herx guys I used a teaspoon of xylem herx for it blend to your taste but this is how I like mine smooth fine moldable like yummy my semo has to be smooth my semo has to be so fine you know i don't like gallop in my semo i don't like gallop in my fufu <laughs> so that is why mine is this smooth so feel free to do yours the way you prefer you know but guys let me quickly advise all those that are trying to wash their weight this is just the best fufu for you this is um a good way to lose weight and you can easily digest this one okay guys you've seen for yourself my fufu is perfect and beautiful and ready to be eaten so but i want to first of all go into making um food for my kids let them have theirs first before i eat you know you know that thing with mothers we always want them to be okay first let them eat before we eat because if they don't eat before we do we will not have peace of mind when we're eating our own and i my eating time is like ritual for me i want to like concentrate and enjoy that meal so let me take care of them first before eating mine so guys let me quickly say this please when you're making broccoli fufu 
it doesn't need water like it doesn't need much water okay the reason why i added a little bit of the of the water from the broccoli was because it wasn't mixing well and my blender is not the one i usually use to blend okay this one is too open the one i usually use to blend are those blenders that are long and you know that can help to compact the 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 vegetables together but this one the fact that it was so wide it was making it um a little bit impossible for the you know for the vegetables to like you know start joining together so it was just too open like too much space in the blender so i had to add a little bit of the broccoli water the water i used in boiling it to like give it that uh, little bit push to like start smoothing up do not go adding so much water or adding water lato into your broccoli because it might not be necessary you might end up ruining it it might end up becoming too watering you know and that is not uh, how you want your broccoli to turn out and another thing i also forgot to like mention was that i didn't actually use only one teaspoon of the xylem herbs the fact that i added a little water actually made it a little bit um you know watering and i had to add extra half teaspoon of xylem herbs okay to help it mold well for it not to be watering so guys you wash it while it's blending you wash it to make sure that it's blending to your taste i usually prefer blending mine till it's fine there are people that blend theirs till and, and you know let the consistency be that of like gary the one we have in Nigeria. but i don't like it i like mine to be fine just like my semo has to be smooth and fine so Guys, I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope you've learned one or two things in case you don't know how to make it. Let's keep fit together, eh? Let's keep looking sexy for all our orgasms because, mm, 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 you know every. <laughs> God bless you and keep you. So, see you on our next one. Ricky, come and say, Ricky wants to kiss mama. I love you. Hello. <laughs> Mia, do you want to say hello? Hello. Hello. You all are loved and appreciated. Mwah!